the CL manages to keep all its cruiser characteristics and build them into a touring bias machine. The cruiser rake angle has been kept, which has meant putting the forks further apart to allow a wider front wheel to help keep the bike stable. Now the clever bods at BMW have also used aerodynamics to create a down pressure that stabilises the bike at speed and also deflects significant wind blast away from the rider. The unusual fairing is attached straight onto the handlebars and it houses the four headlamps. That's right, four! Two lights for low beam and two for the main beam. The R1200CL is a different take on touring in a very BMW kind of way. It's reliable, comfy and a little bit different, which is sometimes just what you want. Yeah, BMW likes to do things differently. Um, the CL is a touring bike and it's also a cruiser. Um, it's aligning itself, I suppose, with the, with the, the Electroglide side of things, um, but in a very BMW way. The CL um, is quite a nice handling uh, tourer, uh, a bit, bit strange. There's not really a lot of luggage space on it. It's again more of a competitor for, say, the Harley Electroglide than, say, the Goldwing. Fuel range is poor. Um, when I've ridden one and done big miles on them, you, again, you can end up doing 110 miles before the fuel light comes on. And that's another big thing with this bike. Where's the fuel gauge? Yet another offering from Bavaria, but you can't knock it, especially with the options of heated grit and grab rail. It does its job as a tourer, but it'll also do the business around town. So our panel's combined scores for each of those categories give the BMW R1200CL a total score of 71%, placing it ninth in our top 10 tourers chart.